This is the best Bluetooth speaker of 2023 is what everybody else is saying. But I'm usually a pretty skeptical guy and I wanted to actually test this out for myself. Okay, so my search for the ultimate Bluetooth speaker started here. Yeah, the barbecue. You see, this summer I decided I'm going to become the ultimate master chef for my family and pick up barbecuing as a hobby. But I needed a speaker to grill out with. First I went with the HomePod, but that plan quickly fizzled because I had to basically plug it in and it was just too much of a hassle outdoors. Not to mention it's not waterproof. Next I searched up Sonos and uh, yeah, that's a little bit above the budget. So as I was scouring through Amazon, through the plethora of speakers out there, there's a lot of Bluetooth speakers out there. That's when Soundcore reached out to me and asked if I wanted to collaborate and check out their new speaker. Considering the reputation this particular speaker has had, I said, sure, but with a skeptical undertone. So I eagerly awaited for the speaker to arrive and boy, I was excited for this to come in. And once it did, oh, game on. Okay, so with a healthy dose of skepticism, I went ahead and unboxed this thing. I was really hoping that the hype around the speaker was real because then we'd be debunking the common myth and understanding people for some reason have that you need to spend big boy dollars to get great sound. This speaker costs just $200 and I'll be honest, even still my expectations with this were pretty high. I mean, this thing is actually rated number one by DxO Mark for the best Bluetooth speaker under 200 bucks. It's even above Sonos and Bose on that list. Once I unboxed it, I mean, the first thing that stands out at you is just how stunning this whole speaker looks and feels. It's got this classy grid metal finish that overall really makes the speaker feel super premium. It looks really clean no matter what setting you put it in. The speaker isn't huge, but it's not super small either where you can like throw it into a backpack or something. So having that handle up top is a great addition. The speaker also feels a little hefty, which is something that's common with great sounding speakers. My dad always said, you can't trust a light speaker. He didn't say that. I, I don't know why I said that. But generally heavier speakers have been known to have better performance simply because they tend to use more materials to build them. Things like the metals and magnets used in the driver construction can add up if done well. Now, right under the handle, you have a bunch of controls here, which allow you to basically toggle certain features like this magic button here, which I'll get into shortly, but not yet. It has bass boost and playback controls. You also have this upward firing speaker, which is related to this magic button here. Over on the back here, you have this rubber tab which houses the USB-C and auxiliary port so that you can charge it as well as connect it to phones or laptops or anything like that if you wanna play something that way. Speaking of which, this thing is IPX7 rated which is one of the big allures for me behind the speaker. IPX7 rated means that it's basically waterproof and can withstand temporary immersion in water of up to one meter for about 30 minutes, which uh, I will not be testing, but I had no issues getting this thing wet and you know putting it in water and stuff like that. And that's all I basically need because I wanna be able to use this outdoors, by the pool, near the barbecue, outside when I'm playing sports, and basically just make sure that it's protected from the elements when I'm using it outdoors. Now, in terms of branding, I love that the speaker is subtle, which makes this feel a little more minimal, modern, and a really good looking overall speaker. I can easily put it on my desk setup anywhere and it fits right in, but I can also just as easily throw it outside and it doesn't seem out of place. Pairing was also super easy, you just hit this Bluetooth button up top and it pairs with your phone and the button goes blue once paired. Once it's connected to your phone, that's when the magic starts. I started to play some stuff and uh, it really caught me off guard. Like guys, like I can't explain to you, this thing sounds incredible for a $200 speaker. And I largely think this has to do with this magic button. And now I'll finally get to it. Well, let me put it this way. Have you ever just hugged yourself with a blanket? Just like let it completely envelop you? Now think of that metaphorically, but with sound. Spatial audio is designed to basically simulate its round sound experience. So if you've ever tried on some Apple headphones with spatial audio, it's actually quite surreal. And it makes you feel like you're right there in the middle of the sound. That's exactly what you're getting here as well, but in speaker form. Now this speaker has five drivers inside, which all help in spreading the sound around sound around, surround. Oh, 
Is that how they came up with that? There's a full range driver, two tweeters and two woofers powered by 350 watt amplifiers, DSP controlled of course. And you can see the full range driver here up top in the circular pattern, which actually helps give you that spatial audio feel as it pumps the sound upwards. It's also super tough to hear anything over a microphone, but here's a sample of the spatial audio on versus off. Right. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get And this next button beside it is called Bass Boost. And if you like a nice thumping bass, then this speaker definitely delivers. Now you also have this app you can download, which allows you to actually customize more things with the sound like the EQ. This app also has sound signatures that you can use for quick applications. Like let's say if you wanted a voice boost, for example, like if you're listening to like an audiobook a lot, then you can do so. Now what I personally like keeping it as is using it with the signature sound in the app, plus spatial audio on, plus bass boost on. This gives me the best sound personally. As for the battery life, it's rated at about 12 hours, which is more than enough to get me through a full day, so I didn't really have any issues there. All in all, I was super skeptical going into this video. You see, a lot of speaker companies will have this sort of special modes that you can toggle on and off, like spatial audio and bass boost in this particular case. and it tends to be a marketing gimmick a lot of the times. Basically, what they'll do is they'll make the regular audio sound slightly worse, and then when you turn on spatial audio or this enhanced audio mode that they'll include, it will sound better, but it's actually just sounding normal. Or another sneaky thing that some companies do is they'll have this enhanced or spatial audio mode, which will basically simply just adjust the EQ to make it sound different. Like they'll basically add some reverb or some echo effects or something like that. Uh, so yeah, it's not really a fan of that and you can generally tell when companies are trying to do something like that. But in this particular case, they actually have the technology built into the speaker, the drivers and everything positioned in a certain way. They've done their tech right. And which is why I think a lot of people have actually genuinely enjoyed using this speaker. So overall, I'm happy to report that my experience with the speaker was fantastic. Soundcore have done a great job with this one and I have personally no issues recommending this. So if you're in the market for a Bluetooth speaker, I think this might be a great option. If you like this video, I highly recommend you check out this one or this other one that YouTube thinks that you'll like. And I'll see you guys there.